Fitting European countries in Indonesia by population. What this is really showing you though is like obviously population density. If all of these islands is equal to the small country of Belgium, not that many people live on these islands. But if you can fit Germany, Spain, Austria, what is that, Bosnia? If you can fit them all on this little sliver, there's a whole lot of people living right there. We got Poland, Hungary, Portugal, Belarus. Okay, so a lot of people live on this island too. I actually figured most would live here. I mean, this is a thick island, but only Greece and Ireland? Doesn't seem like that much. Another alternative alternative which I think is a little crazier because I know how many people live in Russia look at this Russia that is crazy how many people live so they must live like really packed like on top of each other we got France up here Romania Chechnya Ireland Finland it makes you think about these places in a really different way share of young adults still living with their parents I'm actually surprised to see how low the US is I know the US is still pretty bad at 30% but compared to these other countries I guess it's not quite as bad this is also beginning in 2005 to 2019 so Sweden's actually getting better more young adults are leaving Sweden and they're leaving their parents at least. The UK got really bad in like 09. It dipped a little bit, but now it's starting to go a little bit back up. Wow, Germany almost at 50% in 05. They really haven't moved much. Now it's just at 41% of Germans. They're still living with their parents. Then it's Spain, Greece, and Italy, which is skyrocketing. Almost 70% of young Greeks still live with their parents. 66 for Italy too. This is, wow, I didn't even know. But hey, at least you're saving money. And hopefully your mom was a good cook. But that could be pretty helpful financially. I also wonder, like, are these people even trying to leave their parents' house? I'm sure, like, a lot of them are trying, but they can't. But maybe some of them like this. This is the United States of Sitcom map, which shows us where every sitcom is located. I don't watch a whole lot of sitcoms, but I know about Frasier. All these sitcoms are like in Oregon and Washington. Of course, we got a bunch of places in California. Modern Family, Rest of Development, Drake and Josh, Full House, even Stevens. These are sitcoms, not TV shows in general. I was looking for Breaking Bad New Mexico, but that's not a sitcom. Community, Last Man Standing. I, I actually don't know a lot of these uh, shows, to be honest. I guess a better question is, can you name all these uh, sitcoms? comes that 70 show happy days coach i never really thought about like where they're actually located though look at how many sitcoms are just in new york that is crazy oh that one is kind of awkward didn't age well i love lucy king of queens they had to make this so much bigger to show how many places are here irish railway system 1920 versus 2020 and i am really curious to find out why there's less railways now what happened why Do they not need them anymore maybe people just using cars or other things in general this thing was sprawled throughout the country and they got rid of them is it cheaper that way it's evolving just backwards what the netherlands would naturally look like if they hadn't built any dikes or to prevent flooding but luckily the swamp germans are water benders and they can control water they pushed it back out to sea so amsterdam would be underwater hey you trip would still be good Do you really need to push the water you didn't need to push the water out you're only losing like a couple cities a couple major cities if you flew in a straight line from uh Mc mcallen texas to Bangkok, Thailand, uh, you would only spend about 50 miles over water. Wendover Production, did you post this? Anything airplane related, and I'm like, oh, this must be him. And that 50 miles comes from uh, Siberia to Alaska right there. Do they really fly this route, though? Do we know this is the actual air route they fly? I'm assuming so. I don't think they'd post this if it wasn't like that. The real map of France. I love this. I bet you could do it something similar with the UK at least. I will never forget the fact that France's largest neighbor is actually with Brazil. None of these countries equals the uh, their border with Brazil right here in South America. They never really gave up their islands, huh? We always make fun of the UK for grabbing up these islands, but look who else was doing it! How many holes does a given object have? This could get bad. <laughs> okay, uh, we're talking about straws, donuts, and rubber bands, and cups, uh, things like that. Uh, good. Oh, I get it, because a straw has technically- Whoa, wait, a straw has one hole? 65%? This was a poll, and this is how many people, like, picked in a poll. This is what they picked in a poll. Yeah, 1,600 people, by the way. Oh, so they said that technically straws have two holes? No, that's one, isn't it? A donut has one hole. Does a rubber band have a hole? It's a band. Not really a hole. This is getting actually really hard. Does a cup have a hole? It's not full. Wait, what is the definition of hole now? I never thought I'd Google this in my entire life. A hollow place in a solid body or surface. So rubber band is not a hole. So a cup is a hole, right? Kind of? A bowl is a hole? They said no. A bowl is not a hole. Okay, I could literally spend all day looking at this. <laughs> is a spoon a hole? <laughs> what the f- Baba boy. Alright, I'm sorry, but this is terrifying. This man has been counting how many trick-or-treaters he has gotten every year 
since 1996. I am so afraid. So in 1996, he had 187 trick-or-treaters, then 52, then 100. So there was a dip here. I'm assuming he didn't do trick-or-treat uh, between these years for some reason. What's really interesting is did he move? What kind of traffic? What kind of foot traffic are they getting? I wish they could do this same thing by like blocks. He had a lot of trick-or-treaters in 2017. Oh, you know what? It is the same house. Yeah, because uh, there's actually like a piece of wood. Oh, wait, it might not necessarily be the same house. They could have just moved this wood to another house. Hmm. How do you get confused? You got it confused. 185, 187. Someone got eaten. But yeah, this year, obviously 2020, there wasn't very many. Guide to figuring out the age of an undated world map. I think this is pretty easy. If you see the USSR, you know it's before 1991. I'm gonna say that right now. Holy Roman Empire. Wow, you're really going back far. So if you see the HRE, yes, then it's 1805 or earlier. Oh, wait, you start right here. Why am I starting over there? Istanbul or Constantinople? This is so complicated. Yeah, so if you see neither, does the Ottoman Empire exist? No. Uh, the Soviet Union exists. North Korea. Wow, I never thought about doing it like this, but yeah, this makes sense. You can determine if it's an accurate world map. What if it's not even accurate? Is Lake Chad missing? If Lake Chad is missing, is the aerial sea missing? Yes, then it's the 2000s. U.S. southern borders looks weird. Okay, that's definitely between 1846 and 5th, 1853. Weird time. Ah, I like this. Does the map mention spiders? Yes, it's definitely 2023 or later. Great spider uprising. It hasn't happened yet. This person actually carved a world map into... A pumpkin. I can see Europe right there. Oh my! I don't even want to think about how long this would take. If was this worth it? I really hope this is worth it. Let's let's give him an upload. Wow, he actually like did that. Wow, this looks really accurate too. He had to have traced it, right? I think he traced over it first. He even got the Ring of Fire and all the tectonic plates. Oh yep, there's the Zealandia and Arctic. This is actually amazing. And now some stupid teenager is gonna come and crush it. Gonna go pumpkin uh throwing. I can't remember what it's called. My huge drawing of a fictional metro area scanned in so you can see all the details. Okay, please put this in City Skylines. I want to play it. Make this a mod right here. Oh my goodness, he has lakes and everything. Oh yeah, I, that's got to be. You got to put this into a video game. I'm sure everyone's suggesting that. You figure out like block names. Here's the freeway. Got a little river going through things. This is incredible. Actually, this is amazing. I'm real good at predicting that top comment. Dairy herd type in France. So uh, dairy, cow, goats, sheep. The cows are all in like Normandy and Brittany, France. Actually, the cows are kind of scattered throughout. They're a lot next to Switzerland. You ready for that cow invasion in Switzerland? You're not prepared for that. You're not going to stay neutral for much longer. Then there's sheep in the southern part of France and uh, here by these mountains. Oh yeah, sheep like mountains don't they? And then there's kind of goats just around here. Not very many goats. Oh, look at how many sheep are out here in Corsica. Why are there so many sheep in Corsica? Are they native to Corsica or is that like one of those things where we accidentally let sheep go and then they just took over the islands? That's the vibe I'm getting. The actual map of ship traffic, not the whack one that recently was posted. <laughs> His shoes, whack. His clothes, whack. His maps, whack. So most of the ships are definitely using that Atlantic uh, routes, a lot of Atlantic routes. I like how they don't necessarily go through, well, I guess I knew about that, shipping lanes. It'd be easier to find your ship if you like were, I don't know, sinking. Wonder why there's like these huge pocket, like huge clouds of shipping traffic. I'm assuming they're just between these islands. I'm really shocked to see that there's nothing between like Perth, Australia and South Africa. There's nothing? Does a ship really have to go all the way up to like Indonesia and then go to South Africa? Come on. There also doesn't say that there's a big lane between Iceland and the UK. That's, there's no way that's right. Or maybe it is, it's just small and rarely used. Maybe that's what this is actually saying. Those thickest lanes are like, yeah, right here. Boom, South Africa hits everything. Everyone has to stop by South Africa. A lot of places using this, like these Arctic ports. It's gotta be cold up there. Mongolian Empire at its greatest extent, 1279, but it's for like current territorial divisions. Wait, did they really get that far into Turkey? I don't remember that. I know that Poland kind of held the line for Europe. They stopped them. You did it, Poland. Nicely done. 35% of the population of Mongolia is descendant from Genghis Khan. And then 0.5 of all men on earth is direct descendant from him. Oh, so adorable. I love how we always project Genghis like that, but in in reality, he was like terrifying. We're like, haha, horse people funny. Percentage of Americans that have heard of European countries. I'm sure this is going to hurt a little bit. Belarus, I'm sorry. They've never heard of Let Latvia and Estonia? That's kind of shocking. Yeah, I figured that. I mean, you know what? Yugoslavia wasn't that long ago. A lot of Americans probably don't remember the former, the, you know, former Yugoslavian states. I like how Africa and like parts of Asia are included, but it's fine. European countries, that's cool. The city states, I totally understand. You're not understanding like these small city states. Luxembourg though, that's blasphemy. The island of Kress, Croatia. I didn't even know Croatia had islands, but then again, this has got to be pretty small. A lot of places have islands, but we 
probably don't talk about it. California's got islands. This is beautiful. Hold on, where is this exactly? Um, I'm assuming, well, it's obviously in the Adriatic Sea. Uh, wow, that's actually huge. Whoa, wait, wait, why did I not think about that? This is the biggest island they got, Drew. What the f- They got a lot of islands, and this is massive. I feel very dumb. I- literally just realized that Croatia has islands and they are massive and I've always seen them. You guys ever get shocked at how stupid you can be sometimes? Whenever I think of Croatia, I just think of Bosnia and how Bosnia got like cock blocked from touching the sea. This nation, can we have water? Croatia, no. The loudness of a typical summer day without people. Soundscape without people. I can, I don't even have to look at this map. It, it's just gonna come down to population density, right? So the quietest parts of the US is obviously the parts where no one's living in them. Wyoming specifically, just Wyoming. A lot of California got Got some quiet spots too though surprisingly but that's because it's just like a big old desert arizona new mexico everything over here nevada oh it does say estimated loudness of natural sounds so are they not like looking at cities super loud in florida jesus why am i not surprised national sporting teams in the uk and ireland so breaking down by the sport so soccer there are soccer teams for ireland northern ireland scotland wales and then england then for rugby we actually have a united ireland uh oh united ireland i'm surprised then there's scotland wales and england cricket is a nice just boom three the three countries wales wales don't like cr cricket or something and then with the olympics uh oh can people here decide who they want to play for ireland or the UK? That's kind of cool. Portion of French Americans by county. This is as of 2018. I guess this explains why I've never met a French American or just a French person in general, I think. There is none in California. There are no, how is there no French people in California? Maybe, I mean, tourists, but this is specifically talking about French Americans. They're all from Louisiana. That's why I gotta go to Louisiana. There's a lot in Michigan. I didn't think about that. A whole lot in Michigan. It came on down from Canada, huh? And then a bunch in New England. Wow. Again, because of Canada. Look at this little uh, small spike in Alaska. Why are there French Americans there? Range of the American alligator. This is how far the American alligator goes. I didn't know that the American alligator was in Texas. That's kind of scary. It's definitely its home base has got to be in Florida, right? We know it's got to be Florida. That's where they breed and mate and then they send scout outs, right, to determine the area. They're, they're getting ready to strike. They go all the way up to North Carolina and actually pretty far inland, surprisingly. Technically, Oklahoma has alligators. Is that green too? What? I don't know if I believe that. European bison distribution. It's all in Eastern Europe as of right now. Wait, wait. This is, is this real? Is this right now or is this like a couple years ago? They're not extinct? Oh, wait, late Middle Ages. Oh, I see, I see. The red. I was gonna say bison? I don't know if I can imagine roaming bison. Red is the current distribution. So it's just in Poland. But the light green was like their natural range. Wow. Dark green is the late Middle Ages. All right, so we was taking them out kind of a long time ago too. It's just, yeah, they, they're taking a lot of L's. Come on, bison, get together, get a dub. What the world would look like if sea level dropped and rose by a thousand meters. So if sea level rose, rose by 1,000 meters, we'd live in like an archipelago map. There's South American islands. Hey, I could get to those islands or those, well, they're mountains. I could drive there. Maybe I could survive. Europe is basically gone except for the Alps and then Norway got those mountains. Oh yeah, the Tibetan. Yeah, Tibet would be super safe. And Arctica's that high? I didn't realize it was that high. And then uh, I always thought that Africa was pretty flat. I know it pretty much is, but um, didn't realize this would still be up. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like this. This is pretty cool. Oh man, don't give me any ideas. And then I think we've already seen if sea level dropped by a thousand. Europe becomes this massive. Africa barely changes though. And then there's like a bunch of new spaces that is created. The islands are gone. Oh man, this is, this is really weird. I don't know if I like this. It's very cursed. How the Nile has changed over the course of the last 5,000 years? How do they even know this? For the most part, the, the, the Nile has been doing its thing. The Nile is doing its thing, going one way, but uh, it, it does kind of like, yeah, move a little bit, snakes its way a little bit. It went pretty far towards the east during these times, but it most cried. And big thanks to the turkey patrons, Patrick C, Plebeian Tribune, Julius Cheezer, Can't Think of a Name, Fusion Wolf, Manny Manny 74, Brawl C Tree, Douche Baggins, Mac, Rat Smacker 3000, Aryan After Hours, Luxembourg Lover, Mayonnaise Incorporated, Palofsky, Clovin, Ballin Like Stalin, Elijah Senpai, and Steps of War. Thank you.